Hi everyone, Sailor Moon here, <coughs> Serena here, and Luna here, sorry for clearing the throat, and today we're going to talk about, you know, Siobhan Moon, but that's not even its true name, its true name is Sailor Moon, but it was, this Sailor Moon was made by Renaissance Atlantic Entertainment, or New Birth Great Sea Glee. You know, the same business to work with Siobhan Glee and the Walt Disney business to make the Mike Keepers. Now, this Sailor Moon was a little unlike the other Sailor Moon. First, being half live work and half live drawing would have been it. All the everyday things, you know, them going to learn or, you know, them, you know, going to work, whatever they'd be doing. The daily, their daily lives would be the live end of the show. But when they shape-shifted, then that's when the live drawing slight of the show would happen. And then you would get to see the tune makers or drawing makers side of it. Now, a lot of folks may have either liked this Sailor Moon or may have not liked this Sailor Moon. It would have been on the Fox folk work at the time. And... That meant it would have been on Fox Kids, you know, broadcast block of the Fox folk work at the time. Either in the morning or in the after day. Now, some folks out there might have not liked it for the Sky Flyers or the Star Flyers or whatever they would have called the starships that we flew on because we were sailor fighters. Another thing I think that they would have been irked over is that we, we, we were called the Aldeling Fighters, not the Sailor Fighters or the Sailor Keepers either. Now keep in mind, if this Sailor Moon came out, then there would have been no need for, for, for Deke or Pioneer to do anything with Sailor Moon. Oh yeah, and then my name would have been Victoria instead of Usagi or Serena. So that would have been another thing for them. But I think... These followers, once they got the interweb, either by going to the book house to their learn, or they were lucky and had gotten a reckoner at their house, they would have looked up Sailor Moon and then learned where R A where the R A E and T M were made, where Renaissance Atlantic Entertainment or New Birth Wet, Great Sea Glee was off shooting from, because I believe they would have had to borrowed. A lot of things that were going on for all the four or five followings of Sailor Moon or whatever. Queen Beryl would have been shifted in this one. Yes, Queen Beryl is the same Queen Beryl, but instead she has a starship. And she's going after all the might of the might of greatness, which is held by all the outer worlds and the inner worlds in the Milky Way Starway in this world. So... Instead of her being down in the Dark Kingdom, wherever that was, wherever that was at, I guess that was in the, that was in a south, the south steeple of the Earth, she would have been in a starship. And Queen Serenity would have still been alive, she would have not died. Um, <clears throat> any other things? Yeah, you're right, Sailor Moon, you're right, Serena. Like, I would have been a white cat. Not a black cat or a purple, not a black cat or a blue cat. You know, I would have been a black cat. And I don't know if there would have been an Artemis. I don't know if Artemis would have been in there. Because in the one saga we saw, Artemis wasn't in there. So your guess is good of mine. Folks would have said, where's Artemis at? We would say, we don't know. Then they had a starship that got blown up. That Aldeling and Dim Aldeling Darian, because he would have kept the name Darian, that was his name. They would have that would have been the same. Only instead I would not only instead he'd become Tuxedo Mask, but without the hat. You know? And he'd help me out. He'd help Sailor Moon out, Serena out, but she wouldn't know who he was. And every time that Dana or Carrie or Amy, you know, any uh, any of them, you know, would have asked, who was he? Then, uh, and then, Sir, then Victoria, because that would have been her name in this world, would have said she didn't know. 
you know. And I know a lot of folks might say if they if if Renaissance Atlantic Entertainment or Great New Birth Great Sea Glee would have had to borrow and foster things from all the five followings of Sailor Moon, then most likely Rini would have shown up, or would her name have been Rini? Would the Sailor Starlight show up? Jordan, Dustin, and Julian. Would either Amara, Michelle, or Trista show up? That, or either Nataru? Or would they not show up? Or if they did, would their names have been, been shifted? How would they have played out? The uh, only unlikeness is that they that Serena would have gone to an all-girls school, all-girls learn, and Darian would have been going to all-boys learn. And each one of them would have, you know, known each other, but not known that each other was an over-good doer until they later on, you know, somehow, some way, they would have put two two together, and each one would have learned about each other's true self. You know, and how would a Queen Beryl had, and Queen Beryl would have had the same, you know, Nephrite, you know, Jadeite, Nephrite, Zoysite, Milikite, whatever Quinso, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if they would have been in here because he didn't see them in the starship. So your guess would have been good of mine if they were in a starship or not. Only most likely that's would have been it. I think that this Sailor Moon would have been the Sailor Moon that, you know, that everyone would have known. And this Sailor Moon, if this Sailor Moon came out, then Toei would have had, then really, then Toei would have not gotten a deal with Deep Glee, which was, you know, and gotten a deal with Pioneer Glee, to do anything with Sailor Moon, but since RAE would have already had that, already had that covered. And this Sailor Moon would have been owned by Frank Wand and not by the Toei business. So at the end of the day, yeah, you're right, Luna. I mean, at the end of the day, Luna, this Sailor Moon would have ha- not seen a light of day until like two years ago. And the grounds to why no one wanted to pick this one up for a full-time thing is that the Toei business, Renaissance Atlantic Entertainment and New Birth Great Sea Glee, tune makers or drawing makers, all three folks felt that it would just be worth way, way too much to do a half live show and half drawing show because that's what this Sailor Moon would have been. And yes, Bandai or Irwin would have gotten the rights to make the dolls. So there would have been dolls made for this take of Sailor Moon 2. Only they would have not looked the same way that the Irwin Bandai dolls we have that we have now would have looked like. Also, the starships would have also became a thing. You know. And now let's talk about names. Because in this Sailor Moon... Names would have been shifted. Well, Luna is Luna. No need which Sailor Moon you're watching. Darian name would have been kept. My name would have been Victoria in that world. Amy would have been Amy. Ray would become Dana. Lita would have become Carrie. And, uh... Um... Yeah, Sa- no. Lita's name would have been Sarah... And Mina's name would have been Carrie. And Ray's name would have been Dana. So those would have been the Latinist, Frenchist, uh, Hebrewish, Farsius, you know, Hellenish, you know, borrowed names that folks would have had to, that the, the folks would have been bitching about instead of, instead of the other, the other Latinist, Frenchist, Spanish, Hellenish, you know, Blacklandish, you know, Farsi as Hebrewist borrow names. Um, and this Sailor Moon, would it, how would it worked? I mean, we all know it would have been on the Fox folk work. That was what they were making it for. And I think there would have been, I think it would have come out on film. And then years later, it would have came out on disc when this became a thing. But this Sailor Moon was so unlike the Sailor Moon that would, that the folks got 
the deke, the the, the deke and the pioneer Salem moon, the viz Salem moon. This Salem moon would have been the Salem moon that the English world would have gotten. Well, can I end this film now? Yes, Luna. All right. If you like this film, let us know what you think about Renaissance Atlantic Entertainment Salem Moon or New Birth Great Sea Glee Salem Moon. Not Siobhan's Moon because Siobhan Glee had nothing to do with it. All right. Would you have watched it? What would you have thought of it? Would you have been happy with the names they chosen? Would you have liked the half live work, live drawing work? You know, would you have bought in the dolls? If it came out on film, would you have bought in the film? If it came out on disc years later, would you have bought in the disc? Let us know. I, Luna, and I, Sailor Moon Serena, and we'll see you later.